Martin Tyler here with you as usual and delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. It's a pleasure to be here. Carlisle United in action today. They played Cheltenham Town. Difficult to know what to expect today, Martin, from these two teams, both languishing towards the bottom of the table. And as a result, it might be quite a nervous, tense occasion out there. Number 15, Sean Grizzly. Number three, Danny Granger. Well, there's no doubt what is the problem, Alan, with this home team today. They can't score enough goals. They have, everybody scored more than them. Yeah, confidence by the sound of it is really low. And the manager before this match would have had his work cut out to lift the spirits. And number 14, Jabo Ibn. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so. If they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. And for the away side, this is how they line up for this match. Well, it looks like all hands to the defensive pump. At least they've got two forwards. Yes, and uh, hopefully they will get some service, but uh, it is capable, this shape, of being pretty negative. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Here's the referee, Gary Sutton. There's the first whistle, and the game is underway. Excellent interception. And shoots! Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. Bounced away from him. The home team have some work to do, Alan, because they've lost their last two games. They've got home advantage, and they, they need to win today. Yeah, they do, a bit of pressure on them in front of their own fans, but uh, I fancy them to do it here, actually. Goal news from Stevenage. It's a goal for Stevenage. Seven minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Thanks, Alan. Into the attacking third. In with a chance. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Good football between these two. Nice passing. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Keeps it going. He's got his shot off now. Oh, off the crossbar and behind for a goal kick. Goal news now from Hartlepool. It's a goal for Colchester United. 17 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. He's had a go here. Oh, and just over the bar. Adams. It's Miller. On to the attack now. Good defending. Tackle goes in.
Goal news from Orient. It's a goal for Exeter City. 26 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch to put them in front. Comes in with a tackle. Jones. Very good tackle. Could be dangerous. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. And that will be a goal kick. Well, here is that earlier incident, Alan. So close. Absolutely brilliant effort. Takes real power and technique to hit it that hard and keep it down and, well, very nearly scoring, but hitting the bar. Adams. It's Miller moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. They've linked up well. Really on top of their game now. Wonderful understanding. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. It's Miller. Through pass. They've coped with it well defensively. No doubt that's a corner. on the money because the goalkeeper's caught it danger's gone so it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal holding their own looking a little bit more potent than in recent games it's level at half time yeah those strikers keep on knocking at the door but at the moment the quality is just not there Change of ends, and the second half is underway. Jones. Well, There's good progress with this attack. And he gives it back to it. Got the tackle in. Good play, but they've lost the ball now. And the opposition can get at them. The new player in at Inter. You heard it first with us. The signing is complete. It's a statement of intent, isn't it? Around £35 million for this lad, but he's got uh, good talent, good credentials. Got to be. It's another so decent try, but we're still level in this match. Coming off the pitch, number eight, Mike Jones. To be replaced by number 16, Russell Penn. And the manager deciding to go for it and bring on a new player on the attack here Referee sees that as a foul, and it is a free kick. Good challenge. Substitute coming up for the away team. Adams. Just working away to try and find an opening. Brilliant football from this team. And shoots! That's 
great hands from the goalkeeper to make that kind of save. On to the attack now. They've got the ball back, the interceptor got it for them. Excellent passing, great interplay. Good challenge here. Miller, and he's back heeled it nicely to a supporting player. Good forward play from them. Well, that's almost the click of the switch from the manager to say, right, we're going into our defensive game now. Well, I know in some parts of the world they call this tactic lock-up shot. We know it more as parking the bus, but it's the same end result. Just try and see this one out defensively. He can put them in front. He has scored. Well, a certain amount of relief, I think, from the players as well as the fans. A lot of times they've come close, it looked like it was going to be one of those days, but now they lead eventually 1-0. And he's got on the score sheet, hasn't he? And now he's getting off the pitch. And you could see that's what he intended. He had a little glance up and he found that bottom left beautifully. First goal of the game in the second half. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Brilliant team play this, with the passing, the movement off the ball to make the passing possible. They've learnt a lesson here, this team, haven't they? Can't necessarily defend a position like this. But we could be in. Gonna try his luck. And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match, we'll see. Well, could this be? Talk about efficiency in attack. They have scored again. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Some people thought it was a gamble to play him from the start and to go with a wide man. Well, the manager got it right, didn't he? Well, didn't he just? His teammates, you could see in the early stages, just kept feeding the ball to him because they know he's the man on song at the moment. Restarting at 2-0. Ten minutes left of regular time. He's got his tackle in, and the ball's gone out now. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for the home team, seven minutes remain, 2-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally, thanks Alan. And he could get away here. Defensive block there, no cross coming in. Well, they talk about football being a passing game and you can keep it short, you can go long, you can be direct, you can keep possession. But they seem to have got all the passing arts here. And they've really... Now the shot! He's blocked that well. Six, He's read that, hasn't he? And Emma. made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Miller. Three minutes to be added on. Into the attacking third. And in goes the cross, and it's the goalkeeper's ball, quite clearly a wasted cross. Finished here, 2-0.
can't get much better than this really Alan to win and keep a clean sheet yeah I think that would be the pleasing aspect of it as well as the three points the clean sheet uh, particularly the keeper I'd be delighted with that well this has been as good a performance as I've seen from the home side for some time Alan they've been short of goals we've been emphasizing that but what a good win today yeah lots of sweat and endeavor went into this victory wasn't a big one but it was an important one